Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to talk to you about my eyelashes. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Oh yeah, eyelashes. So this is usually the my second best topic aside from retin-a i do use an eyelash serum and many of you know that and so this is going to actually be a giveaway for the eyelash serum that i use which is blink this is unfortunately open continental us only and um, to enter you have to be 18. I'm going to use randompicker.com. I will select one of you. You need to leave me a comment. You need to thumbs up the video and you have to be sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I will double check that. If you have not hit that subscription button, you're not going to be able to. If your name is drawn, you won't be able to, to get the product. But I use Blink Eyelash Serum. There's many other eyelash serums and I know there's some people that are anti this because it is quite serious. So I have used an eyelash serum, I think for about almost three years now. I've used CarePost, I use Blank, I use many, many other different variations. The one that I've stuck with the most is Blink. Initially, I received Blink complimentary in a PR package to try. I tried it, I liked it, it was more affordable for me at that point in time than the care post was so i ordered some after i started to use this and talk about this the company sent me some more blink and i've done a few different giveaways with it so i thought it, i would revisit how i'm treating my eyelashes and what i'm doing for them i have very light eyelashes i don't have good eyelashes i do not wear false eyelashes other than in the early 60s, mid 60s, back in the, you know, roaring 60s, at one point or another when I was in high school, I did glue on eyelashes, I think maybe once or twice to kind of try to look cute. It didn't help. Anyways, uh, when I started using Blink, I started to use Blink three times a week. It does come with a little applicator, a little brush, and there's a little indent in the cap. And this is how I've always done it. I take the indent and I make sure that I sanitize this carefully, but there's indent in the cap will hold one drop. So I put a drop in the cap and then I take my clean little applicator brush. You can use any brush you want. You can use an eyeliner brush, but you want to make sure it's clean, sanitized. And I take that and I dip it in and I apply the solution just like I would an eyeliner right near at the base of my eyelashes. That's how I do it on both eyes. The solution will give me more than enough to cover one drop to cover both eyes. Sometimes I dip it twice in each eye and then what's left over I'll do in my, my eyebrows. So I, when I started this, I was doing it like three times a week. I probably do it about the same thing now years later, but I had stopped for about maybe two months and I stopped when my dad got really, really sick and then he passed away. So July and August, basically, I just went through a whole sorts of turmoil. My lashes got really awful. They were thin. I wasn't using the solution. I went back to it mid-August. So I've been back using my Care Pros for a month and oh, what a difference it has made to my lashes. I I can kick myself for having stopped using it for that short period of time. But you know what? In that short period of time, I stopped doing a whole lot of stuff. Uh, along with the blink that I use on my eyelashes, and again, like I said, I dip that eyeliner in just very, just cover like I'm doing eyeliner on both my eyes near my lash line, and then what's left over on my brows. Along with using that, I use black castor oil. The castor oil I have, I don't have it in here to show you, is like a Jamaican black castor oil. You can get it in all in um, Amazon. You can get it really anywhere. It's sort of a, a black castor oil. And then I bought those little containers, little glass containers that has like a mascara applicator that you can put in. And I put it in there, I dip it in, and I actually cover my eyelashes with it and massage it into my eyelashes when I'm not using the blink. So that's on the alternate nights that I'm not using the blink. It's sort of like it conditions my lashes. It makes my lashes stronger, I think. 
um, it just conditions them really nicely. And then I also take that black castor oil and I do it in my brows, you know, above my brows and kind of condition my brows with it. So yeah, I'm loving my blink. I think my eyelashes are starting to come back to where they were before I stopped using them. And I've never had any any side effects from it at all. Some people have, if you have really light blue eyes, um, some people say it can change the color of your eyes. So if you're thinking of doing something like this, whether it's a blank or another product, you know, do your research, make sure that you carefully, you know, what you're doing and all that. But like I said, I've had no ill effects with this at all. The caution that I have to when you're applying it is on the nights that I am going to use my blank, I make sure that I use a non-oily cleanser to remove my mascara, my, my eye makeup. Because if you have any kind of an oil ri residue, say from using that type of a cleanser on your lashes, this isn't gonna do its job. It's sort of, the oil sort of acts as a barrier. So you don't want that there. So on those nights I make sure if I have used an oil cleanser to remove my mascara that I've cleaned that off really well. So this works best without an oil cleanser and you can use it three nights a week. Monitor your progress, take before and after pictures, but I love having lashes. And there's sometimes I look at my lashes and I go, oh, I'd look so much better if I had really nice big, you know, lashes. But I realize the women that I see with those lashes, they're wearing false lashes and nothing against false lashes. It's just that I don't want to wear false lashes. I'm afraid of the glue. I'm afraid that it's gonna harm my lashes. Um, yeah, so maybe that's the trade-off that, that I do, but this it has been really, really super awesome for me. So yes, I'm still using the Blink. Yes, I still use it about three times a week. Now, I'm back on track. For about two months, I wasn't, but every year I normally take about a month break anyways, but it's usually in February around my birthday, and I didn't do it in February this year. So this year for me, it was July and into August. Um, but other than that, I've been pretty consistent with it and monitoring my eyes and loving the fact that I can have lashes. And, you know, at 66, um, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. So I love it. And if you want to try it, if you want to enter into my contest, my giveaway, I think I'm going to let this go for a week. I'm not too sure when this is going to be published, but I'll put all the information in the description box below. The rules are pretty simple. Thumbs up the video, comment, be sure you have subscribed, and I'm going to give you a fourth condition. If you belong to any other social sites, if you could share this video, that would be awesome. So I don't have any way of tracking that, obviously, but if you do, that would be super awesome. So at bare minimum, thumbs up the video, comment, and subscribe. When I use Random Picker, it's only going to choose from those categories. So if you've not hit that subscribe button and you'll look at it and see it, if you're just seeing this randomly in your stream, be sure to subscribe. You're going to love this stuff. And whoever the winner is is going to win three bottles of this. That's, to me, a year of supply. Three. So, anyways... Thank you and good luck and I'm not going to reply to any comments. I'll probably heart all your comments, but I'm not going to reply to any comments in this video. If you have any questions at all, go to my previous video and leave me a question there. I'll get notification and I'll answer your question.